Well, the city could shut down a community composting program due to budget cuts. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram takes a look at the environmental impact if the program is scrapped. Inside a community garden and compost site in Queens. Composting is turning your waste into a resource. According to Grow NYC, 8.3 million pounds of food scraps and yard waste is collected across the five boroughs and composted a year. Here in Sunnyside, 300 pounds are collected and converted a week. We collect food scraps at food scrap drop offs. We partner with community gardens and other organizations. They'll set up bins. Um, folks from the community will come drop off their food scraps. But on January 1st, after city budget cuts, farmers markets and community gardens in New York City that collected food scraps scraps from New Yorkers will have to stop. The city is eliminating all community composting projects. It's very possible without the funding from the Department of Sanitation I'll lose my job and that's really devastating and sad to think about. And the rollout for the city's compost pickup with bins for residents to discard food waste will also be delayed in the Bronx and on Staten Island. Community compost becomes soil that we put in our parks and our community and they take millions of tons of food waste and make it into dirt again. New York State Assemblyman Harvey Epstein has been composting for over 20 years. He says the city shouldn't eliminate all funding for programs. Thin red packing! Dozens at a Save Our Compost rally at City Hall Park Thursday called on the mayor to reconsider the composting cuts. The mayor's office tells CBS2 the cuts are necessary and citywide curbside composting will be in all neighborhoods by next October. In the meantime, the sanitation department says there are 400 smart composting bins across the city. Environmentally, this is going to be pretty devastating. And advocates say there is an online petition to save community composting. So far, there are over 30,000 signatures. In Sunnyside, Queens, Jennifer Bisram, CBS2 News.